oven light guys so what is enlightenment let's talk about what enlightenment is and what it isn't I used to think that enlightenment was a threshold that you passed and that was it that there was you were one with God full union with God uh, and no growth or personal development would be noticed after that because there would be no more personal self at all. This is not the case. First of all, there is no such thing as one thing that is enlightenment because so many people are using so many different definitions for that word, even amongst spiritual people, even amongst people or especially amongst people who, who believe themselves to be enlightened, they're not all having the same experience. They're having some unity of experience in that they're, they're touching their greater or higher natures and they're becoming aware of more than they once were. But, you know, this stuff is all subjective, you know, it's, it's where you came from compared to where you are and, and it will seem nearly every time that you have a big breakthrough and expansion that that's it you know until you finally realize that this is just going to keep happening so that that full union with god to where there's no personal self left that doesn't actually exist with a human body if it ever has it was a special case be because and that being that was here was never a third density being it was just looking like a third density being and having some experience of it but it never lost touch with its higher self that connection was kept before incarnation or was there before incarnation so that's a different experience although that that happens to some degree with all the star seeds and all that um now and i'm not even sure that's a real experience i don't know that that's ever been uh and that it's even possible as far as my understanding tells me there must be some duality present for any kind of body to even exist in this realm at all. You know? So, but what most people call enlightenment, actually, uh, the simpler definition is the, ce the cessation of the negative ego. The cessation, uh, and not even really the cessation of it, honestly, just the cessation of it long enough that you can see past it to your higher natures. That you... You either pass the veil for some time into the realm beyond death, uh, the realm beyond ego, and you know that because suddenly this thing that has always been there, this even when it's not talking, see the ego, even when it's not talking, even when it doesn't have an idea in the conscious awareness, it's still an agitation. It's still dissatisfied. It's always dissatisfied. So that agitation is there with you all the time. And when it's suddenly gone, Completely, you notice. Oh yeah, you notice because suddenly you can feel everything that it was taking from you, all the energy that was being spent on this illusory process processes is now suddenly returned to you, and there's there's no confusion about it uh, because there's only one of you there suddenly, and your full self is in every your full presence is in everything you do. But that's not, that, even that, that move beyond that, uh, that negative ego, that would only truly correspond to your entrance into fourth or fifth density, depending on other processes that are still happening. You know, uh, what your belief systems are and your ability to actually experience full unity beyond any beliefs. Because you can experience a lack of conflict in you, uh, a lack of the negative ego but well you wouldn't be able to hold them for long but if you're just getting flashes uh, of your higher self basically if you're having five to ten minutes of clarity which is huge five to ten minutes in without the negative ego present uh, is huge it's life-changing it's, it's because you haven't had it, you know that five minutes will be more substantial than probably the rest of your life altogether so, passing that veil to there is in no way the end of the story. Not even close. We are 
huge multi-dimensional beings and, and, and like I've told you, we have to integrate all our other soul fragments, all those other parts of ourselves all over the galaxy and in other dimensions and timelines that are experiencing different lives but are truly part of our soul and oversoul must be returned, must be unified into a collective again. So that's a far cry away from what people are calling here on Earth enlightenment. So ascension uh, is quite a bit different than enlightenment. And ascension, what most people call ascension, is only the beginning of the story because there are several ascensions after that. There is planetary ascension, basically. There is galactic ascension. There is universal ascension. These are ascensions into, you know, fifth density, seventh density, ninth density, higher densities as you return to your true God self. You know? So when I talk about a line of, of crossing, what I'm talking about is people, I'm not talking about that you'll align to where you will never experience the negative ego or thoughts or conflict again. I'm saying you will experience for some time the total lack of that thing in order, or at least enough lack of it to know enough of your true self to then be able to recognize yourself and call upon yourself and find your true self to get guidance on your own, to take control of this process on your own. So this puts you in the driver's seat, basically. It, 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 it gives you control back. Yeah, so it's not the end of the spiritual path, it's the beginning. It's like the real beginning. <laughs> like, it's where things uh, change into a hobby and an interest into 